This is an exercise to help you try and get some distance from your thoughts so they don't dominate your behavior. And to get the most out of this video, then please take part in the entire exercise as the different parts build upon each other. So I want you to think of a thought that stings a bit. There's a little bit of pain behind it. You sometimes find yourself getting stuck on it. When I say stuck on it, I mean that you spend too long focusing on it and it gets in the way of you taking some action. And this works well with I am statements. So I'm going to use the example, a little bit of imposter syndrome of I am a fraud. And as I say that, as that thought pops into my mind that I am a fraud, I start thinking, who am I to be making these videos? Who am I to be trying to help other people? If they could see what I was like in my real life, they wouldn't want me to help them then you can see that could start to get in the way of me making more videos. I want you to think of your thought and put it into a sentence like that and say it in your mind or out loud for about 20 seconds or so, long enough for you to feel the impact of those words on you. Now think about how that felt. For me, it seems quite real when I hear that thought inside my head. Now let's try something else. This time, I want you to add I am having the thought that in front of your sentence. So mine would be, I am having the thought that I am a fraud. And again, we're gonna say that either out loud or in your head for about 20 seconds. Pause the video if you need to and come back. Now think about how that felt. Did you notice any difference between the first time you said it and this time? Let's try this one more way. This time I want you to add I notice to the front of your sentence. So mine would be, I notice I'm having the thought that I am a fraud. And again, spend 20 seconds or so saying that either out loud or in your mind. I notice I'm having the thought that I am a fraud. Again, pause the video if you need to. And what happened that time? Did that feel any different? Everyone's experience of this exercise is different. So this doesn't make the thought disappear. We can't do that. And if we try, then they usually rebound back harder. And personally with this exercise, I feel some separation from the thought when I say, I notice I'm having the thought that. It doesn't quite have the same amount of power over me. It's not a lot, but it's enough to take the sting out of it. It's enough to allow me some space to recognize the impact it may be having on my behavior, such as not continuing to make videos. Let me know what your experience was. Did you get some separation from your thought? Did you not get any separation from your thought? Did it not make any difference whatsoever? I'm really interested to know how this worked for you. If you found this exercise helpful, and you may not have done, not every exercise works for every person. That's why as therapists, we try to develop a toolkit so we have multiple skills and exercises we can do with people. I appreciate not all exercises land well for everyone. So please stay tuned and I'll have more exercises coming up. And if you found this video helpful, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's those likes and those subscriptions that allow me to continue producing this free and accessible content for you. Thank you for watching. Make life meaningful. Take care. Goodbye.